A euphemism is a generally innocuous word or expression used in place of one that may be found offensive or suggest something unpleasant. Some euphemisms are intended to amuse, while others use bland, inoffensive terms for concepts that the user wishes to downplay. Euphemisms may be used to refer to taboo topics such as disability, sex, excretion, or death in a polite way, or to mask profanity. Etymology Euphemism comes from the Greek word euphemia, euphemia which refers to the use of words of good omen. It is a compound of eu, eu meaning good, well, and feme, feme meaning prophetic speech, rumor, talk. Euphem is a reference to the female Greek spirit of words of praise and positivity, etc. The term euphemism itself was used as a euphemism by the ancient Greeks, with the meaning, to keep a holy silence. Speaking well by not speaking at all. Topic: <inaudible> Purpose. Reasons for using euphemisms vary by context and intent. Commonly, euphemisms are used to avoid directly addressing subjects that might be deemed negative or embarrassing. Euphemisms are also used to downplay the gravity of large-scale injustices, war crimes, or other events that warrant a pattern of avoidance in official statements or documents. For instance, one reason for the comparative scarcity of written evidence documenting the exterminations at Auschwitz, relative to their sheer number, is, "...directives for the extermination process obscured in bureaucratic euphemisms." The act of labeling a term as a euphemism can in itself be controversial, as in the following two examples. Affirmative action, meaning a preference for minorities or the historically disadvantaged, usually in employment or academic admissions. This term is sometimes said to be a euphemism for reverse discrimination, or in the UK positive discrimination, which suggests an intentional bias that might be legally prohibited, or otherwise unpalatable. Enhanced interrogation is sometimes said to be a euphemism for torture. For example, columnist David Brooks called the use of this term for practices at Abu Ghraib, Guantanamo, and elsewhere an effort to "...dull the moral sensibility". Formation Phonetic modification Phonetic euphemism is used to replace profanities, diminishing their intensity. Modifications include shortening or clipping the term, such as Jesus and what the what the hell. Mispronunciations, such as frack, frig, both the preceding for fuck, what the fudge, what the truck, both what the fuck, oh my gosh, oh my god, frickin' fucking, darn, damn, oh shoot, oh shit. Be yach, bitch, etc. This is also referred to as a minced oath. Using first letters as replacements, such as sob, son of a bitch, what the f, what the fuck, s my d, suck my dick, bs, bullshit. Sometimes, the word, word, is added after it, such as f word, fuck, s word, shit, b word, bitch, etc. Also, the letter can be phonetically respelled. For example, the word piss was shortened to p pronounced as the letter p in this way. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Figures of speech. Ambiguous statements, it for excrement, the situation or a girl in trouble for pregnancy, passing away or past or go for death, do it or come together in reference to a sexual act, tired and emotional for drunkenness. Understatements asleep for dead, drinking for consuming alcohol, hurt for injured, etc. Metaphors beat the meat or choke the chicken or jerkin the gherkin for masturbation, take a dump and take a leak for defecation and urination respectively. Comparisons buns for buttocks, weed for cannabis Metonymy men's room for men's toilet Rhetoric <inaudible> 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 Euphemism may be used as a rhetorical strategy, in which case its goal is to change the valence of a description from positive to negative. Slang 
The use of a term with a softer connotation, though it shares the same meaning. For instance, screwed up is a euphemism for fucked up, hook up and laid are euphemisms for sexual intercourse. There is some disagreement over whether certain terms are or are not euphemisms. For example, sometimes the phrase visually impaired is labeled as a politically correct euphemism for blind or a blind person. However, visual impairment can be a broader term, including, for example, people who have partial sight in one eye, those with uncorrectable mild to moderate poor vision, or even those who wear glasses, groups that would be excluded by the word blind. <laughs> Words from a foreign language Expressions or words from a foreign language may be imported for use as a replacement for an offensive word. For example, the French word enceinte was sometimes used instead of the English word pregnant. This practice of word substitution became so frequent that the expression, pardon my French, was adopted in attempts to excuse the use of profanity. <laughs> Evolution Euphemisms may be formed in a number of ways. Paraphrasis, or circumlocution, is one of the most common, to speak around a given word, implying it without saying it. Over time, circumlocutions become recognized as established euphemisms for particular words or ideas. To alter the pronunciation or spelling of a taboo word, such as a swear word to form a euphemism is known as taboo deformation, or a minced oath. In American English, words that are unacceptable on television, such as fuck, may be represented by deformations such as freak, even in children's cartoons. Feck is a minced oath popularized by the sitcom Father Ted. Some examples of rhyming slang may serve the same purpose. To call a person a Burke sounds less offensive than to call a person a cunt, though Burke is short for Berkeley Hunt, which rhymes with cunt. Bureaucracies frequently spawn euphemisms intentionally, as doublespeak expressions. For example, in the past, the U.S. military used the term, "...sunshine units," for contamination by radioactive isotopes. An effective death sentence in the Soviet Union during the Great Purge often used the clause, "...imprisonment without right to correspondence." The person sentenced never had a chance to correspond with anyone because soon after imprisonment they would be shot. As early as 1939, Nazi official Reinhard Heydrich used the term Sonderbehandlung special treatment. To mean summary execution, most likely by hanging, of persons viewed as disciplinary problems by the Nazis even before commencing the systematic extermination of the Jews. Heinrich Himmler, aware that the word had come to be known to mean murder, replaced that euphemism with one in which Jews would be guided to their deaths through the slave labor and extermination camps after having been evacuated to their doom. Such was part of the formulation of Endlösung der Judenfrage, the final solution to the Jewish question", which became infamous to the entire world during the Nuremberg trials, a euphemism may itself devolve into a taboo word, through the linguistic process known as semantic change specifically pejoration described by W. V. O. Quine, and more recently dubbed the «euphemism treadmill» by Harvard professor Steven Pinker. For instance, toilet is an 18th-century euphemism, replacing the older euphemism house of office, which in turn replaced the even older euphemisms privy house and bog house. In the 20th century, where the words lavatory or toilet were deemed inappropriate e.g. in the United States, they were sometimes replaced with bathroom or water closet, which in turn became restroom, WC, or washroom. The word shit appears to have originally been a euphemism for defecation in pre-Germanic, as the Proto-Indo-European root asterisk sked, from which it was derived, meant, to cut off. Euphemisms are at risk of being misunderstood and used literally by young children who are acquiring language, and by older people who are learning a foreign language, an example is the, pregnant fireman, type of children's solecism. In popular culture Doublespeak is a term sometimes used for deliberate euphemistic misuse of words to distort or reverse their meaning, as in a «ministry of peace» which wages war, and a «ministry of love» which imprisons and tortures. It is a portmanteau of the terms newspeak and doublethink, which originate from George Orwell's novel 1984. The word euphemism itself can be used as a euphemism. 
In the animated TV special Halloween as Grinch Night see Dr. Seuss, a child asks to go to the euphemism, where euphemism is being used as a euphemism for outhouse. This euphemistic use of euphemism also occurred in the play Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, where a character requests, "'Martha, will you show her where we keep the, uh, euphemism?' In Wes Anderson's film Fantastic Mr. Fox, the replacement of swear words by the word cuss became a humorous motif throughout the film. In Tom Hanks's web series Electric City, the use of profanity has been censored by the word expletive. Expletive deleted. Entered public discourse after its notorious use in censoring transcripts of the Watergate tapes. In Isaac Asimov's Foundation series, the curses of the scientist Ebeling Miz have all been replaced with the word unprintable. In fact, there is only one case of his curses being referred to as such, leading some readers to mistakenly assume that the euphemism is Ebeling's, rather than Asimov's. The same word has also been used in his short story, Flies. George Carlin has stated in audio books and his stand up shows that euphemisms soften everyday language and take the life out of it. <laughs> See also